Paramount Pictures. It's the the, 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 Tom Micah Show. Oh, yeah. And now, now, here he is, Tom Micah. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Micah Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing whacker or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. My dad, our telephone number, you're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for doing it again. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Listener named Bob sends this email in, and I uh, fairly enjoyed it, I must say. Bob writes in and says, hey, Tom. Right now, it's about 930 at night. A few minutes ago, I made a simple comment to my wife, which pissed her off. So I am currently receiving, and he puts this in quotes, the silent treatment. But what she doesn't know, and none of my girlfriends in the past knew, is this. I love the silent treatment. It means I no longer have to talk and, more importantly, no longer have to listen about the trivial pursuits of her day. She is my wife, and I love her, but sometimes I just want quiet. Why don't women get it that the silent treatment is not a punishment for us? I had a girlfriend that wouldn't talk to me for two or three days straight when she got mad. That meant no phone calls at all hours, no pointless conversations about her idiotic girlfriends, their problems, nothing. And I'm supposed to feel bad about this? Ha! I know there are still some pussies out there that can't stand to be given the silent treatment. Nothing satisfies those losers more than the sound of her ear straining voice on hyperspeed. To those guys, I would suggest you enjoy the next time she gives you the silent treatment. See how long she can go without speaking to you. When she finally does start speaking again, act like nothing has happened. That takes the bullets right out of her gun. Finally... To the women that use the silent treatment as a weapon, keep it up. Punishing us with your high-pitched yakking. Correction. Punishing us with the lack of your high-pitched yakking will teach us a thing or two. (laughs) That is from Bob, who asks to be taken out old school. All right, Bob, there you go. (laughs) He's absolutely right. This is just as true if you're dating somebody as if they're living with you and you're married to them. I can't tell you how many times Broad gets angry at me and decides to not talk to me for a few days or not send me instant messages online or not send me text messages. And what am I doing with my time? Finding other things to do or other people to do. (laughs) Sure, go ahead and not talk to me. That's great. He's absolutely right. Because most men I know wish the women they were with would just shut up. I mean, how many of you are in a relationship where you think you've thought it, you're afraid to say it because you're afraid you'll never get laid again, or you're afraid that she'll give you the silent treatment or whatever? How many of you are saying to yourself, I wish she would just shut up. 
Shut up, shut up, just shut up. I can't take it anymore. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, please. Just shut up, just a little bit. Just shut up for a little while, please. Just shut up for now, please. Shut up, please. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. How many of you hear that voice in your head as she continues to blab on and on? Shut up. Just shut up. Come on. Shut up. And uh, Bob is absolutely right. Many women think this is punishment. They just stop talking to us. Fantastic. Are you kidding me? That means ball games we can watch, phone calls we can make, trips out to get a beer we can take. And if you're not dating somebody uh, or not living with somebody, not married to them, if you're just merely dating them, hell, that means you can go out and see other chicks. You thought the relationship was moving along too fast. You thought she was pushing a little too hard. Now you get a break and you can go out and do other, uh, other women. When a woman gives you the silent treatment, it's the best thing that ever happened. Don't you think? Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. If you were a girl, I'd probably bang you. Really? It's the Tom Likas Show. Good treatment. Now, Mr. Bob writes in and says his girlfriend, actually his wife, punishes him by giving him the silent treatment. He says, hey, that's not punishment. I love it. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Jessica on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. Hey, I was calling because a woman sometimes just needs to be told to shut up. And these guys that just keep saying in their head just need to tell them. I mean, me being a woman, I understand. My emotions, we get carried away with them. And sometimes we just need to be put in our place. Like, hey, lady, calm down. You know, and it causes so much calm, and the silent treatment treatment's perfect. I wish sometimes my guy would give me the silent treatment when I act like a bitch, because it's needed. You know, go do your own thing. So you time. you agree that women need to be told to shut up? Yes, I do, 100%. <laughs> I think we, I mean, I'm a woman, and I know that my emotions, we get carried. I mean, there's plenty of women that call your show, and they don't know how to be quiet and just listen to you. Well, I think I think women expect guys to be like other women. No, and yeah, no. That's and when we it. get home, when we get home from work or school or wherever we are, we just want to decompress. Yeah. We yeah. do not want to blab incessantly, and we don't want to hear anybody blabbing incessantly. Mm-hmm. Most I guys I know want to pop open a cold brew, put their feet up, and watch a little ESPN when they come home. Totally agree. I mean, I used to live with my grandma, and she would get on me when I'd walk in the door. Just this, how was your day? And I'm like, Grandma, can I just go to my room, give me a beer and a blunt, and let me chill? <laughs> yeah, but now you do the same thing. No, 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 I don't, actually. Actually, we don't live together, and I refused to for years. But you your know, boyfriend uh, your boyfriend tells you to shut up. You told me. Yep. No, he does. No, when we start to argue or get in a, like, a conversation, like a heated you know, disagreement or something, he's just like, Jessica, you need to shut up and listen to what I have to say. You know, and it's, I totally agree with it. Yeah. Totally agree. I must tell you, I I am so sick of, I am so sick of telling women to shut up or wishing they would shut up that living alone, I, I can't say it enough. It's the best thing that ever happened to me. Yes. I tell him he needs to do that too before we go any farther with our relationship. I told him he needs to get out there, live alone. He's like, well, I've been single. I go, go be singler. Go live alone. Go do your thing. And then we'll talk about staying together. But he needs to go do his thing and be a man before oh. he can even think about playing it with a woman. You know, when I have women uh, come over to my place, those rare times I do, I have to sit and think about it. It's like, oh God, if I want to have sex, I've got to listen to her talk. <laughs> And I don't want to listen to her talk. Yeah, I had a rule when I was single. I don't let any man know where I live, come to my house, if it were to be anything. Because I don't want any attachment. I don't want any strings attached. That was the last thing I'd have. I, if anything, we'd go to a hotel or something. Because I would not want anyone to know where I live. Wow. I give that advice to men. Heads up, because there's some psycho girls out there. Well, does your boyfriend know where you live? Yes. Oh, yes. You know, we've been together. We've known each other for like seven years, ten years, and we've been really good friends. And 
just started up in our relationship. That's not necessarily a good thing, dear. You're only 23. You're too young for this. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I agree with you on that one. That's why. Well, if you agree with me, why do you have a boyfriend? Uh, because, well, like I told you, I told him I want him to get out there and live on his own and be single, you know, until the fullest. It's just, you know, I, and you're going to hate that I say this. You're going to hate it, and I know you are. I don't even want to say it. I'm not even going to tell you. You know what I'm going to say already, so. No, go ahead and say, <laughs> I want to hear No, I, now I want to hear it. <laughs> I know what I want. It's him. <laughs> oh. Exactly. Exactly, Tom, and I didn't want to disappoint you. I knew I was going to. You're killing me, Jessica. <laughs> I mean, granted, I loved my single life, and I loved every moment of it, but, you know, time, you know, there's times in your life where you're just ready to settle down. and. Dear, you're 23. I'm it good. Is, you, are not, you are not old enough to be settling down. No, well, no, exactly. That's why I'm settling down on my own, and, you know, I, he wants to move in with me and everything, and I'm not letting him. I told him, no, I don't want to. He's like, well, let's have a kid. I'm like, no, no, no. Oh, the last thing, no. God, no. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, no, 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 you're strapping it on, I'm on the pill, I go, and the, the conversation they had, uh, I think about a couple of weeks ago about girls on birth control, yeah. don't trust any bitch that says she's on birth control, pardon my language, do not trust any woman who says she is, at all, that is an entrapment to all you men out there, do not trust any woman. Well, any type of woman says, don't worry about it, you don't need a condom, That that that's that's a red flag. Yeah, and I, I agree with you, that's totally on the woman, it's a woman's responsibility. Total woman's responsibility. The man, not, it's all on the woman. Jessica, thank you. No worries, Tom. Have a great day. Hey, can you take me out and um, bong status, please? Here's your bong hit, dear. <coughs> Crystal on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How you doing? Great. Long time, six time caller over here. Wow. And I just wanted to let you know that I am fully in agreement with women just need, needing to be quiet and shut up. And it happened to me last night. My husband came home and he looked sad and tired from work and I just nailed him and I gave him a hard time about it. And I realized I, I thought about you and I thought, you know what? You're being one of those psycho, psycho girls. You need to calm down. And stop. <laughs> I yeah. just want to say thank you. <laughs> well, if you ever need to, uh, something easy to remember, just remember these words. Shut up. Shut up. I totally agree. You know, he you won't, he won't, won't, by the way, he won't say shut up to you. Well, so, well, he has, and you know what? What it does is just light the flame underneath the fire, but I'm realizing the more I listen to you, the more it, it's actually working. So, <laughs> If you want him to love you, just shut up. I agree 100%. Will you keep up the good work? Can you take me out tribal style with an orgasm? Here you go, Crystal. Thanks. Oh, oh, God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's the Tom Likas Show. I am your host, Tom Likas. And uh, we're talking about a letter we got from an emailer named Bob. Bob writes in and says that his uh, wife is giving him the silent treatment, thinking it's a punishment. But he loves it. Why do women do this? 1-800-5800-866. Paul on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. Tom, you are a genius. You are a wise man. I could not agree with you anymore. I love the silent treatment. In fact, I was telling Dino just a minute ago, this last chick that I was seeing, she would give me the silent treatment, and you know what? I loved it. I wouldn't call her back. I would just leave her alone. I'd pretend like she didn't exist anymore. And then she would start calling me like, oh, what are you doing? I haven't heard from you in a long time. What's up? And I'm out banging somebody else, and she started figuring it out. So she would call me and call me and call me, and then she wanted to bang even more because I was ignoring her, and <laughs> it originally started with her giving me the silent treatment. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, the silent treatment is uh, its a gift, boys. Uh, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's totally the best thing. I mean, when I don't have to hear a woman talk, I mean, what more could I ask for? I agree with you. Shaw on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you doing today, bro? Doing great. 
Sounds good. I'm doing great, too. I used to be married, and my wife used to just be in my ear, and all I could think is, just please be quiet, just like you were saying earlier. Please be quiet. Please be quiet inside my head. She had a problem. She wanted to tell me the same thing over and over. So I'm divorced now. I'm telling that guy to divorce that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't get why women think they're punishing us by not talking to us. It's our dream. We pray for it. <laughs> exactly. And I'm thinking now when they do that. Oh, I'm upset with you. I don't want to call you. No problem. Because you know, I, I just like no problem. Does it's that? Time to go do something else does, yeah. Does that mean you're also not going to send me another text message every 15 minutes? Fantastic. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, I'm picking up my son from school. He loves to listen to you, man. He wants to say hi. Is that cool? Yeah. Put him on. Hold on. Hi, Chuck. Hi there. What, what's your name? Justin. Justin, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, Justin? Nine. Nine? Are you a regular listener? Yes. Yeah? That's great. Yes. You listen with your dad? Yes. What have you learned by tuning in here, Justin? Um, about... <clears throat> have you have problems? With women? Yeah, what happens when you have problems with women? What? You said when you have problems with women, what happens then? <coughs> you want to get a divorce <laughs> if you have a lot of problems? Yeah, or you just don't get married at all. <laughs> yeah, if you don't get married, you don't have problems. No. No. What do you think about that? Okay. <laughs> well, it's been very nice meeting you, Justin. Thank you. Okay. All right, take care. There goes Justin. Get him started early. That's what I always say. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Gabby. Gabby, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. I'm so excited. I'm finally getting to talk to you. I've listened to you for like a year and a half now. <laughs> That's great. Thanks. Um, I had a comment, and me personally, I don't know if this is all the rest of the girls, or it might be, like, I might be outing <laughs> them, but um, whenever me and uh, my boyfriend get an argument and I give him a silent treatment, it's usually because I know I lost the battle. <laughs> so I just, just turn it around, make it, make it seem like it's his fault, and just shut up and not talk to him. And does he beg you to start talking to him? Kind of, and I know that's what, you know, gets me my way and whatever. But I mean, we talk about it later, and I tell him I realize that I'm wrong. But, you know, at that moment, I just I just can't admit that I'm wrong. So I turned it around. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, yeah. if, I, if I was living with somebody named Gabby, I think I would want the silent treatment as often as I could get it. <laughs> it's, I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad. I just like to get my way, kind of. Well, yeah, but that's but, see to me. That's why I don't want to be in a relationship because it's all about these wars and winning and getting your way and him getting his way. It's ugh. yeah, I, and I agree. I agree with it. It is. It is that way. But you know, it's like if you want to, you know, if you want to, you know, stay with the person. Sometimes things doesn't go your way, so or things don't go your way. So I don't know. You just find ways. All right, Gabby. All right, Tom. It's good talking to you. I know. Eddie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom, I love you, my man. Thank you, Eddie. I wish to God you were around 20 years ago in Chicago. I could have used your advice. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you are you are doing an excellent, great service to all these young men out here. I hope they're listening to you. Me, personally, I wish my woman would shut the heck up sometimes. Really? Most of the time. Oh, man. Do you I ever tell her to shut up? That's, no, you know what? I'm just too quote unquote nice a guy. So I just sit there and I suffer and I listen and I just look. And you ever you ever see those movies where those people are involved in something and then they have a flashback where the guy's strangling the heck out of the person and then they flash back to reality? Yeah. That's what I think of sometimes. I'm just sitting there thinking, oh, my God, if you just please shut up. But, you know, that guy that emailed you, he is such a lucky man, and I just want to call you and thank you. Short-time listener, first-time caller. Take me out, uh, Kobe style. All right, Eddie. Here you go. Okay. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Look at your beats in my heart. Oh. 
Get air I breathe. This is so special to me. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Camille on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. You are brilliant. I love your show. Thank you, Camille. Um, I just wanted to tell you, I am infamous for giving my boyfriend the silent treatment, and I do it only because, and I know he loves it, but I do it only to keep, because if I stayed around him when I'm angry, I'm a nagging bitch. So I just don't talk to him when I'm angry so we can have a good relationship. It's not because, but I do know he likes it. Yeah, so I, think, I think most men, <laughs> I think most men like that. Yeah, I, I know he loves it. I mean, but I just do it for us, not because I think I'm doing anything mean to him, because I'm sure he just has a ball when I'm not talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he does. But thank you, Tom. Well, thank you, Camille. I appreciate the call. Let me get Patrick in here. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Great. Oh, uh, man, the same thing about we were talking about earlier about just shutting up. My girl, myself, man, she gives me the solid treatment, and I love it myself. But what I hate is the fact that... I tell her to shut up, and then that's what the silent treatment comes from, when I tell her to shut up, because we get into an argument, and I tell her to calm down, calm down, and she's like, what do you mean calm down? I'm like, just calm down and relax, let's go over the situation. And she doesn't understand that, so when I do get frustrated and finally say, just shut up, then her feelings is hurt, oh, you don't have to say it like that, and this and that, and, and like the other caller says, I think she just does it because she knows she lost the situation and the argument, so now she try to turn it around on myself, like, oh, it's all on me, and we're going through that now. We have to talk to each other for a week and I'm just loving it, man. And, you know, yeah. I don't have to worry about losing my minutes, losing my text messages, uh, questioning why am I not calling her? Are you coming to my house every day? I mean, what am I coming to your house for to sit down and talk for five minutes and leave? I mean, uh, I love it myself. Man. I think but, women you know. should be very careful in using the silent treatment, especially if they don't live with you, because they may remind you of what you've been missing, like you're finding out right now. Um, you find out what you have to go through if you live with her. So what, what would the silent treatment be if I didn't? If I had to see her still come home and still have the same thing, so it's beautiful, man. It's a beautiful thing. No doubt. So uh, maybe uh, maybe you don't ever want to end this. Oh, man. Why do you think I haven't called her yet? <laughs> <laughs> now, have you nailed anybody else while you've been getting the silent treatment? Uh, um, Actually, the other day, an old friend of mine called, and I went and, you know, did a little favor, put $20 in her gas. So, you know, hey, you never know. You know, one good thing deserves another. So we'll see what goes on tonight. Love it. All right, thanks. Thank you, Patrick. Appreciate the call. Justin, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. How you doing? Great. Hey, I, I, I think I wrote that letter, sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, talk about exactly how I'm going through. All the time, it's it's like when you were saying, with the little voice inside your head, shut up, shut up, shut up. Like, oh, please. Hey, are we done talking yet? And she just goes on and on and on. Unbelievable. Now, Justin, at 21, why do you have a girlfriend? Well, I uh, didn't start listening to you till you got to the Valley, Phoenix, so. Yeah, well, you could always end it. Nah, no, I'm good. It's just the silent treatment keeps me uh, keeps me happy every once in a while. So. How long have you been in this relationship? Uh, a few years. I a guess. few years? Yeah. What, you knock her up or something? Oh, no, no, no. No, no kids. Well, why do you need a girlfriend? No, she's my wife. Your wife? Yeah, like I said. I didn't Is there a religious element here or something? What's that? Is there a religious element here or something? Oh, no, no. Why did you need to get married? Well, I, like I said, I, I didn't start listening to you until you got to the Valley of the Sun. By then it was too late. Yeah, but I, I just don't understand why you needed to get married. Well, I didn't, uh, I didn't know back then, so... <laughs> But it's 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 good. It's working out for me. Oh, God, doesn't sound that way. <laughs> yeah. Hey, could you blow me up, Tom? Of course I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Clay on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Okay. Thank you for that, Clay. Abel. On the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom, I love your show. First time, long time, been listening about eight years. Great. Um, yeah, the silent treatment's a blessing in disguise. If I don't have to hear my wife's voice, the better. You know, ask her if something's wrong, and if she, you know, tells me nothing, all right, well, let her be mad by herself. And uh, about nine times out of ten, she'll come back to me wanting to make up, and uh, I get a little something out of it. A little 
<laughs> well, yeah, that's uh, that's the way they are. You know, they, uh, what what's the matter, honey? Nothing. Exactly. And she tells me that I'm okay. Fine. We'll be mad by yourself. Ten minutes later, she'll come back to me, and you know, of course, you're supposed to say this. Like, no, no, I don't think so. It doesn't work that way. But hey, you know, as long as I get the happy ending, hey. It's hey, all I'm game happy. playing. <laughs> hey Tom, could you take me out um, with the rip? With what? A, a, beat, a bong rip. Oh, bong rip. Okay, here you go. <coughs> Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Hello? Uh, is that a question or a statement? Excuse me, what? I said, is that a question or a statement? What's a question? The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show on 1-800-5800-TOM. From the studios at Paramount Pictures in Hollywood. 1-800-5800-866 is our telephone number. We got an email from a listener named Bob, who says his wife is giving him the silent treatment. What she doesn't know is he loves the silent treatment. I have to say I agree with him. Melissa, on the Tom Liger Show, hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Great. Good, good to hear. Um, and actually calling just to chime in, um, you know, my boyfriend and I have been together for a while now. And I remember back when we first started dating, I would, like, do the silent treatment or I would nag and nag and nag or, you know, I'd just bitch at him until no end. Or there would be the times when I would just harbor everything and I wouldn't tell him when things pissed me off until I just blew up at him and literally just, like, just made him so mad that I would just, we just end up in this huge fight. Well, after I'm a, com- I'm a communication studies major at my school, I go to um, Cal State Long Beach. And what I've learned in a lot of my classes is that, when things are on your mind, you have to say them right away. You can't just let them kind of slide like a lot of these women do. And that's, I think, a lot of the reason also why they do the silent treatment or why they try to ignore you. Because a lot of women, they just kind of hope, oh, well, he'll, he'll eventually come around and he'll call me. Well, no, he won't come around and call you. He's going to love his free time. So I just wanted to kind of chime in and give that little opinion because now it's like I've become such a better communicator because of all of this. So I just wanted to chime in and give my little two cents. There is nothing I love more. I have to agree I'll, with uh, Bob the letter writer. There's nothing I love more uh, than when they say, uh, or they, I'm, I'm not going to talk to you, or better yet, they just stop talking. Yeah, exactly. Fantastic. It's my, it's my dream that they would just shut up. <laughs> and I have to say, it's usually, I mean, it's a dream sometimes, and I listen to couples argue. I have friends that argue all the time, and they argue and argue and argue, and I'm just like, why do you keep going? And they argue about the same exact things, and it's kind of just like, why don't you guys just get over yourselves already, break up or get over it, and they argue about the same things with the same couple. So I don't know. I just can't stand dealing with any of that. I hate drama. I hate dealing with any of that, and I don't know. I'm just so grateful that I've, you know, been able to take so many classes on you know, communicating styles, and I recommend to, like, anybody who's in a relationship just to at least try and take a class. I mean, take them at a community college. It's not that expensive. You will learn so much that I will help out with you and your relationship. It is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I certainly think that wouldn't hurt for a lot of people. For me, my solution has been not to have a relationship, but it's the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> awesome. Well, I, you know what, you know what happens time. now? You know what happens now? I am always right. Do you know that? Do you? When I come I, home I think, every night, I am always right. Everything I do is right. Everything I say is funny. <laughs> and it's usually, you know, that's the, isn't that the greatest feeling, though, when you're home alone and you kind of know you're like, you have nobody to argue with, nobody to bitch at you, nothing to deal with like that. So, You know, when I'm know, sitting I, home, I'm, I'm going to tell you, last night I was sitting home. I'm going to be honest with you. Last night I was sitting home. I'm watching the ball game. I'm kind of half-baked. I'm watching the ball game and thinking to myself, you know what? This is great. <laughs> this is great. I'm watching it on the big screen. I'm like, this is as good as life gets. The last I thing agree. I need is some chick coming up here and effing it up for me. 
Exactly, exactly. Why would you want to deal with, and especially, you know, I think good relationships are one thing, or bad relationships, you could have a good one or a bad one, but everybody needs their alone time, and everybody needs their time to themselves, and I think everybody deserves that. Yeah, I need it. I, yeah, I need it 24-7, though. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, I guess that's why you're anti, more so anti-marriage, I think, now than you ever were before. Because like, I know what marriage I is like. I exactly. I was married, and I know. What it's like? Exactly. Yeah, because you've been married. You were your four times four times divorced. Yep. That's what I thought. Yeah. So I mean, unfortunately, you know, you weren't able to learn your lesson the first, you know, however many times. But hey, you know, you learn when you learn. You learn from your mistakes, and now you're out there spreading the word and helping others. Thank you for that, Melissa. Thank you, Tom. Can you blow me up? I'll blow you up, baby. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Ross on the Tom Likas show. Hello, hello. Yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> Tom. I got. A, I got. A, I, I married a broad. She's ten years my junior. Her parents are multimillionaires. I've had two kids with her. And she drives me absolutely nuts. Oh, boy. I don't know what to do. I can't take it anymore. Um, you know, my, my, my father-in-law was a USC alumni, so he donates money to the USC alumni every year. So my kids are guaranteed scholarships as long as they keep the 3.0 grade point average through high school. Okay. Well, if you manage to stay married another four years. Yes, sir. Um, but according to most attorneys I've talked to, uh, you get alimony for life. Another four years is all I got to deal with. This. Yeah, stick it out till uh, your tenth anniversary. <laughs> you know what, man? I, I've been trying and trying and trying. Well, as soon as I get home from work, man, I work eight hours a day. I work my butt off. I get home from work, and it's nonstop. Nagging, oh, and I want to lift her up by the throat and just strangle her. But you know, I can't do that. Just remember, she's going to pay for everything for the rest of your life. That, that, that's all that I got. So if I just stick around for another four years, I might be yeah. looking good. If I were you, I would talk to an attorney tomorrow, tomorrow, and find out just how long you have to stay to get lifetime alimony. Hey, so let me ask you this, Tom. How, how would I go about doing that without her knowing? Very easy. Is she Does she pay the bills? No, I pay the bills. I'm there the only go. one that works. She All doesn't right. work right now. She takes care of our kids. Uh, but she has money, right? You told, you said... Her parents are multimillionaires, and she's the only child. There, her, there are her parents' only two grandkids, so they spoil the poop out of her grandkids. But I cannot handle her nagging. But do her parents give her money? Does, does she have money? She has a lot of money. So she has a lot of money. Great. So what you need to do is talk to an attorney about what you need to do. That's exactly what I need to do, man. Yeah. Exactly what I need to do. Well, I appreciate I appreciate the uh, the info, Tom, and and I think I'm going to look into that. I mean, I, I got no other choice because the broad is just driving me nuts. Um, I, I can deal with it for about two more minutes, and then I'm done with it. But I would have really appreciated, Tom, if you took me out with a bong hit. Of course I can, Ross. Here you go. Thanks, Tom. 1-800-5800-TOM. Jonathan, hello. Yeah, what's going on, Father? Not much, son. Anyways, I got a good story that will probably top all of yours right now. My girl called me. I'm 23 years old. She's 21 years old. Called me today. Um, I work up at a uh, local uh, car dealership. Kept calling me, kept calling me during the day. My boss came up to me and said, hey, this stuff needs to stop. So I was like, all right, you know, because it's a company phone you can't be calling on, you know. And uh, so she decided to keep calling. Once my lunch break hit, she decided to call me again. And uh, boss comes up with the termination papers, basically said, you need to take yourself elsewhere and everything. No more of this. Come home probably about 3 o'clock, right before your show starts, and start listening to you. She comes home and, you know, wondering why I'm, uh, you know, angry at her. And I'm like, you're a bitch. You got me fired. And she said, well, how, well, how did I get you fired? And I'm just giving her the silent treatment, just like women do to us all the time. And, uh, you know, she uh, 
she basically kept nagging, kept nagging, kept nagging. I'm playing my Xbox, and, you know, I finally start yelling, and I'm like, you need to shut up. You got me fired. This is going to end right now. I'm living with you. I'm helping you out with your bills. Why do you tolerate this stuff? You know what? I've asked myself that for the last maybe year and a half. Well, it's time then to step up to the plate like a man and do something about it. And exactly. That's what I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. You know, I'm, I'm making all the phone calls I can to all my roommates, finding a place. You know, if you. I could, if I could crash with them, she took my cell phone, so I have no way of getting a hold of you know most of my friends. But well, pal, get a new <laughs> cell phone. Well, she took my cell phone. She said, whenever you want to talk, you know, you could go ahead and call me wherever she, wherever the hell she's at right now. Well, just get a new cell phone and disconnect that one. That's for, and it's through Cricket too, so that's what I'll probably end up doing. Yeah. <laughs> get a new phone. So I, I, I'm ready for this, you know, and I've told her millions of times she hates when I listen to your show, but, you know, I really don't care. You know why she hates when you listen to my show? Because she knows I'm right. Exactly. And and, the la and and a couple segments, you know, a couple weeks ago you had this thing about MySpace. That's when me and her had another, uh, you know, discussion about that. She has a MySpace, and I told her to take it off or I'm history. And she's like, well, you have a MySpace, too, not telling her why I used the MySpace. But, you know, I was just like, you need to get rid of your MySpace, and she didn't want to do it. See, so uh, like, more examples of why the two of you are too young and immature to have a relationship, and I don't understand why you do. Exactly, and that's, so that's why I'm following up on it right now and Good. getting rid of it. Excellent. But I just wanted to give you that uh, that little piece of a story, and I was wondering if you could take me out with the bong hit. Of course I can, Jonathan. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Patrick. Oh, Patrick disappeared right as I was about to take that call. Roy on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Love your show. It's very entertaining. Thank you. All right. I'm 19 years old. I'm living in Phoenix. I got a girlfriend. She's 19 also. We're coming up on a year and a half, and she is just infatuated with me, and. It's a pretty good relationship. We we don't have too many problems, but I just I don't want to be in the relationship anymore. Well, I that's mean, a big problem. I I know it. Why and, do you, why are you saying you don't have any big problems? That's a big problem. Well, right, but I mean, like fighting wise or uh, arguing or whatnot. But why do you need to be in a relationship? Uh that's what that I think I don't need to be, but I just don't know how to leave really are you living with her yes why uh because i didn't start listening to your show till yeah. about four months ago and uh what college are you attending roy um i'm going to chandler gilbert community college why aren't you in a real college roy um my gpa Be did your gpa is low because you party too much and you have a girlfriend um, I don't know. I didn't start dating her till after I left high school, so. And, uh, do you plan to go to a real school when you're done with, uh, community college? Uh, I'm going to go to ASU or maybe San Diego. I haven't really decided. And what do you want to be when you grow up, son? Uh, I have no idea. That's another problem. Well, that's because you're distracted by having a relationship. You understand that. Okay. You need to get out of this relationship. And you need to figure out what you want to be when you grow up. How can you know what to study in school? Uh, I'm I'm taking my basic classes. No, no, no. How do you know what to major in when you have to decide on a major? How do you know what to major in if you don't know what you want to be when you grow up? The, I don't. I haven't decided what I want to do. You need to spend life. the time and figure that out now. Okay. You know what I tell the guys to do? Go away for the weekend by yourself. Okay. Take yourself out of town. You know what you do? Take the Black Canyon Freeway up north somewhere. Mm -hmm. Pull off somewhere like Cottonwood or someplace else with like a Best Western or a Motel 6 or something. Right. Hold yourself up in there for the weekend with a yellow pad and a pen and start writing down what you want to do. Okay. Give that some serious thought. And only then, And only then will you know what you want to be when you grow up, for God's sake. The Tom Likas Show.